Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I asked you guys on the channel what you prefer to watch on YouTube and many of you guys want to see game assets tutorials. So, what we are waiting for, let's go into it. Select the cube X and delete it. One numpad to go to the front view, go with Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. GZ to move along the Z axis. SZ to scale the cylinder a bit. Tap to edit mode, Ctrl R to add a loop cut right there, S to scale it a bit, go with Ctrl B to add a bevel, scroll the mouse wheel to add more loop cuts, 3 on the keyboard to switch to the face select, select the top, hold shift, select the button, hit I to inset faces, make sure to set the pivot point into individual origins. Hit E to extrude and here we go. Go to the vertex select, hold shift, alt select this loop, this one, this one and this one. Hit shift D to duplicate, mouse right click, P enter to separate the object. Select the new object, tap to edit mode, A to select everything, hit shift S to scale a bit. Go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Saludify Modifier. From here we can play with the thickness. Alt Z to switch into the X-ray mode. Shift S again and here we go. Hit 2 on the keyboard to switch into the Edge Select. Hold Shift, Alt, Mouse left click and select all these loops. Hit Ctrl B to add a bevel and scroll the mouse wheel a bit, just like that. 3 on the keyboard to switch into the face select. Go with Alt E, extrude faces along normals and there we go. Now go to modifiers, add modifier, bevel modifier. Increase the segments into 2. Go with Ctrl 1 to add a subsurf modifier, select the object, mouse right click, shade smooth. From here go ahead and activate gravity to have a better shading. Select this object, go to modifiers, add modifier, bubble modifier. Increase the segments into 2. Ctrl 1 to add a subsurf modifier, tap to add in mode, Ctrl R and add 3 loop cuts right there. Ctrl R again and add 3 loop cuts right there. In the object mode, mouse right click, shade smooth. Now in the face select, select this face, hold shift, select this one. Hit P, enter to separation the object. Select the new object, go with Alt H to hide everything except the selected object. All right, now go with Shift D to duplicate the object, S, Z to scale along the Z axis a bit, just like that. Hit H to hide and select this one. We need to delete all the modifiers on this object and to add a solidify modifier. And again, play with the thickness a bit. Click here, go to normals and activate auto smooth. Alright, now we need to cut the surface using the boolean modifier. Go with shift A, mesh plane. Hit RY90 to rotate the plane around the Y axis. S to scale it a bit, one numpad to front view, grab this bad boy into there. Go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier for the plane. Go to modifiers again and add an array modifier. Before we do anything, select the play, go with Ctrl A, rotation and scale to reset the rotation and scale into default. Now we can play with the array modifier. As an example, we can play with the count to get many cuts as we like. And of course, from here and along the X axis, we can play with the distance. As you see guys, now we have full control where the cuts are gonna be and this is cool. All 
Alright, when you are happy with that, select this object, go to modifiers and add a volume modifier. The object for the volume modifier, it's gonna be the plane in this case. But as you see guys, we can't see very well. That's why click here, go to viewport display, display as and select wire. Okay, cool, cool. You see guys, that makes sense that we duplicate this object at first because we don't wanna look through these cuts. Select the plane, activate the solidify modifier and the array modifier. Select this one and activate the boolean modifier. Select the plane, hit X and delete it. We don't need it anymore. All right guys, that looks not bad. In the next video, we are going to texture this bad boy. So, see you in the next one.